Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this office cabin interior. So let's get started. So very first of all, I'll just go over here. Let's take a box over here. So slightly just shuffle it over here. So convert to editable poly. Select these edges. Give a bit of connect. Select the vertices. Shuffle it over here. Select this vertices. Select this, scale it, select the vertices, scale it, <coughs> scale it, after that, let's again select this edges, let's give some connect over here. Select the vertices, slightly just push it over here. Scale it from the top. So now, after that, Again, go into the polygons, select all this polygons over here. And let's give extrude a bit. And let's click OK. That's it. OK. So save your file. So now we'll be creating this kind of a drawer over here. So let's just take a box over here. Let's go into this side view. So over here, take a box. So shuffle this box. So increase its height a bit. Slightly. Push it behind. <coughs> After that, Convert to editable poly. Let's give a bit of swift loop over here. Add one swift loop over here. Add one swift loop over here. So select this polygons over here. First select the edges. Control click on the polygons. Slightly give a bit of extrude. Slightly reduce it. Now, again go over here. Let's take one swift loop. If you want, you can just select this whole thing and slightly extrude the edge and slightly push it a bit inside. Click OK. So there are very basic handles over here. So let's go again into this line tool. Let's go to the top view. After that, select the vertices. Slightly give a bit of fillet over here. 
and go into this rendering enabling viewport make it rectangular and slightly reduce its length and width and shift this up So what I'll be doing over here is like I'll slightly scale it, I'll shuffle it up, I'll just duplicate that so we need to subdivide it properly that's very important. So again select this Alt Q for isolate selection again take one more swift loop over here select the edges ring it control and click on the polygons to select the faces extrude it out click OK slightly extrude a bit down over here again go into this take a cylinder go to the top view increase the height height segments, convert to editable poly, scale it and slightly extrude it, click OK. So select the vertices, slightly just push it down. So right click and, and isolate this over here select the vertices duplicate it select this shift and drag to make a copy of it you can do that over here so let's save your file so your drawer is created over here after that if you want to generate some details over here to create this nut and bolts and everything that can be created you can do that just take a spear over here let's activate this auto grid reduce its segments over here very important and make it as a hemisphere 0.5 scale this push it up <coughs> and go over here save your file once press shift and drag to make a copy of it again shift and drag to duplicate it so you can duplicate it in this way the same way I'll again select this all over here and I'll duplicate it over here like this again take a copy of it rotate it shuffle it up all right so now what I'll be creating over here will be modeling this few assets over here for that 
let's just take a box over here activate this auto grid option take a box convert to editable poly put one swift loop over here put one loop over here select this polygons and I'll slightly extrude this up over here after that again go into the edges put some loops over here select the vertices slightly you can just shuffle this down in this way After that, can select these edges. You can just select the corner edges, and if you want to give a bit of chamfer, can slightly give a bit of chamfer if required or else it's okay so select the edges give connect so let's give few connects over here okay We'll just keep it as it is like this. Don't go with so much of high segments. You can just give mesh smooth. I think that is okay because turbo smooth will give uh, very high segments. All right. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So there are a lot of things which are left out over here. We'll be modeling all these assets over here in the coming tutorial. So we have modeled this drawer, the window section and uh, your overhead phones stand over here. We'll be modeling all this stuff. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. If any doubts, please put it in the comment section. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.